I don't never compete cause we would never even I'm the one still the one I can give you 11 reasons Rock a cucaracha Made him out of golf Answer to the altar Then the plan gon' prosper Don't get lost in the hype sauce Lil' ho in the club Look better with the lights off Alright, so today we're going to be talking about the B9 Illuminated Door Sill Retrofit. Uh, I see a lot of people do the cheesy Chinese uh, aluminum kind of sill plates that just look really cheap and I see a lot of issues with their installs. They typically go and tap into the footwell lighting, so therefore your door sills are illuminated the whole time that your footwell lighting is on. So to combat this, I wired it up to the factory puddle lights that are in the door panels so they will come on with the door opening and off when the door closes. So I'll give you a little overview here of how it was done or how I went about doing it. Uh, not everyone may want to take the same approach because it is a little bit more involved than people would want to do for just some illuminated door sills. My girlfriend had it in her old IS250 and I always liked the look of it versus the aftermarket ones that just scream cheap eBay junk. So I'll go ahead and give you a little walkthrough on what I did and how it looks. It came in handy that I had a lot of parts left over from my Mark IV Jetta because I have a plethora of factory connectors as well as all the ends for them. So I was able to tap into factory plugs on the car to make it OEM-ish and also removable if I ever want to take it out of the car at some point. I have to excuse the mess in the car, but as far as the physical fitment of the B9 door sill, all I had to do was trim a couple tabs because it did not line up with the holes in the factory Q5 uh, sill area, and I heated it up with a heat gun to reshape it a little bit so it conformed to the body a lot better. And that was pretty much it as far as the physical fitment of it. Now the car is filthy because I'm still working on adding a few more things. But you can see it comes out to a ribbon cable here. And then I spliced in just some regular wires. Ran one to the ground, factory ground point right here. And then the other one I ran up to the connector that runs into the door that comes out through here. So I have some photos of it taken apart. Where I added a new pin for just the power for the illuminated door sill. And then on the door side of things, I took out the whole door wiring harness and added in the wire and wrapped it in factory-esque tape and added a factory connector here so I can easily disconnect the door panel without having to cut any of the door sill wiring. Then on the back of the door panel, I tapped into the factory puddle lamp. Again, this is not complete. I obviously still have these zip ties that I need to trim. Uh, normally I wrap it in the tape like I showed you on the door, but for this it didn't really matter as much since it's all behind the door panel anyways and it's secured. And that runs up to the connector here. So it just has the one pin which goes to the positive side of the door sill and then this runs through the factory connector which had plenty of empty spaces for me to add a new pin into it so it leaves me with an OEM ish looking install as well as OEM functionality for when the door is closed I'm not going to have any light creeping through the edge of the door. That was a pretty simple install 
took a lot of time as far as disassembling the door panel, taking out the wiring harness, stripping down the wiring harness. I stripped it down to bare wires and then rewrapped the whole thing. A lot of steps that are unnecessary to some, but I wanted a clean, fail-proof install where I didn't have to worry about it looking janky afterwards. Uh, I got the illuminated door sills for under $100 shipped to my door, used. Um, there's no complaints, they work great, and they look a lot better than the S-Line door sills, the brushed aluminum ones that were in there. I will have more videos going over what has already been done to the car, just an overview, as well as the stuff I'm still working on completing right now. There's plenty of parts sitting here waiting, I just have slowly been chopping through it as much as I can, and I'll be sure to film more as progress goes on and show you what was done and how I did it, how I went about doing it, and keeping up the OEM clean appearance. You are fucking up, bro. Get it together, man. Get your shit together. Come on.